Hello everyone, welcome to LearningX. In this video, I have come with a new sales analysis dashboard focused on FMCG with some attractive charts and modern dashboard designing. Very simple method has been used here, so anyone can make it. In the first part, we have shown the overall dashboard designing with this map chart, monthly trend line chart, and line chart with the product. Now, in this part, we will show this picture changing feature and how to connect it with the dashboard and other regular analysis. So, let's start. Insert a shape, give no outline, and give a shadow effect. Format shape and give a gradient color by mixing these two color. Copy the shape and make two more copy. Go to analysis sheet, copy this pivot table and paste it here. Remove dates from row and give this sales medium. Insert a donut chart, give no fill and no outline, and move to the dashboard, give title, and change the color. Now connect one shape with max sales, another with lowest sales. Another with average sales. Now give title and format it. Give a title to the dashboard. Now I will go to this page where I have kept all the pictures of product photo. Three columns here, serial, name and picture. I will increase the row and column size to fit all the pictures as I will use picture lookup to show the picture. Now connect this product name in the cell Use index formula type index Select this as array Lock it type match For row number give this as lookup value Select this as lookup array. Zero bracket comma for column number give three as picture is in column three. Done. Now copy the formula and go to name manager. Go 
give a name and paste the formula in the reference click ok now copy any of the cell not the picture and paste it to the dashboard connect it with the name manager that we have created earlier now place it in the middle and resize it with the place give some arrow to indicate chart and format the arrow At the end of each arrow, insert a shape and give a going effect. Now copy this link shape and place it here. Form it as like as you want. One more last task. Go to analysis. In this VLOOKUP formula, use if error. Before that, and done our dashboard is ready i hope you have enjoyed the video give your opinion about the dashboard in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you